Hello, Ebony here, and welcome back to Simply Divine Creations. In today's video, I am going to be going through five ways you can use washi tape in your bullet journal. The first way you can use washi tape is to create some negative space. Now, I'm using this for a header in this video, but you could use this for any sort of like cover page or any drawings that you are doing. Basically, all you need to do stick down some washi tape and then draw over the top and when you peel back the washi tape you will reveal blank untouched space which you can then go in and write over like I did or add more drawings to or just leave as is. second way you can use washi tape is to cover up any mistakes. So here you can see I started writing out the days and accidentally wrote Monday twice, which I do more than I would like to admit. The great thing about washi tape is you can just stick it straight over the top and no one ever has to know. Now I actually have washi tape that has the days of the week printed on it, so I've used that in this video but you could just as easily just stick a piece of washi tape over and then write over it with your pen. The third use is probably the most common, I would say, and it's basically just for decorative purposes. So I am using it to create a border across the top and the bottom and it just adds some nice decoration to your spreads with very minimal effort. fourth way to use washi tape in your bullet journal is to mark out pages. So all you need to do is cut a strip of washi tape, stick it over the edge of your page, and then when you close your book you will easily be able to see that page that you've now marked for quick reference. This can be great to save time when you're flipping through trying to find that one page that has that note that you've jotted down really quickly and sometimes going to your index, finding the page number, counting through the pages, it can take a bit of time and this just saves that. You could also code your months using this method so you could have a different washi tape for each month and then just put a little tab on the cover page for the month and then you could easily open up to the start of that month whenever you need to. Another way of doing this would be if you had a really wide roll of washi tape, you could still fold it over the edge of the page but leave a little bit hanging out and then trim it down to size and it would then be more of a tab that you could then grab to flip to that page at any point. <laughs> last way to use washi tape in your bullet journal would be to create some page flags. So this is a little bit of a DIY. Basically all you would need is paper clips and some washi tape and some scissors and all you have to do is cut a little bit of washi tape off, thread it through the paper clip, fold it over, trim it down and you have yourself a DIY page flag. 
The great thing about this is you could swap these out and use different washi tapes that tie in with your theme for that month and it's so simple and easy to do. Thank you for watching my five ways to use washi tape in your bullet journal video. I hope this gives you some inspiration on some different ways to incorporate washi tape into your spreads and hopefully use up some of your collection if you're anything like me and a bit of a washi tape hoarder. Don't forget if you liked this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this.